Well, a commentator always benefits from incredible production values, and today we're going into what makes FIFA 23 look and feel better than ever. Over to Shauna and the FIFA 23 producers to tell us more. Thanks, Derek. I'm here with the development team, Fab and Adriana, and we're talking all things FIFA 23. We're going to tackle what's new on the pitch, around the stadium, and my favourite, scoring goals. Fab, what are you most excited about? Oh, by far, the pitch is our biggest improvement uh, visually in the game. We really looked at leveraging the power of, of the new hardware to, to make it look as realistic as possible, where we went in and we tuned the length of the grass, uh, the color of the grass. We even show some of the dirt on the grass when it gets torn up through either you know a slide tackle or, or a knee slide. So we really kind of bring that, that pitch to life. So will I be able to see Mbappe's knees in the pitch? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you can see him slide and leave a trail. And what's really cool is, say you do that in the first half, you'll see that trail in the second half as the degradation will stay on the pitch throughout the course of the match. And you can kind of beat it up from kickoff to, to full time. And it, it just really makes the pitch feel like a living, breathing piece of the environment. So it, it's it's super cool. I, I just, I'm gobsmacked with the shadows and how real it oh, looks. Oh, yeah, so what we've done is also look at exaggerating the shadow on the ball so you'll see more shape on the ball itself, exaggerating some of the shadow on the players themselves so they feel a little bit more connected with the playing surface. It just makes everything just feel more in tune. Thanks, guys. The pitch looks absolutely amazing. So that was on the pitch. Now let's talk about everything surrounding the pitch. So can you guys tell me what's new in pre-match? One thing I'm really excited for are pre-match build-ups. So what we're doing is using quick cutting, fast paced cinematic language and elements to create really cool hype videos that you'd see um, by, you know, any any kind of high end sports broadcaster. So what that means is cinematic scenes of, you know, fans descending upon the stadium, drone shots of that stadium, you know, really good flashback moments on the pitch as well as manager interactions. And on top of that, we're using brand new commentary takes as well as really cool music to kind of tie that all together into a really emotional pre-match build up. It always has the feeling of Judgment Day when these two massive London clubs collide. It is Chelsea and Tottenham who will prevail. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. What else have you got? So next up is our female officials. So we're bringing a lot more diversity to the game this year. Not only are we improving the visual quality of our female officials, we're also adding the ability to assign these for the first time ever to some of our men's competitions in the game. So this means that some of our competitions that use both male and female referee crews in real life, we can actually replicate that now properly in the game. On top of that, we're also able to assign both men and women referees in some of our most popular game modes, such as FUT and Pro Clubs. It's happening in real life and it's happening in the game. I love to see it. So next up is our, our new trainer. Really excited about this is this is a way that we can remove barriers for new players coming to FIFA. This is a brand new tool set as well as revamp visuals to our trainer to make the trainer more intuitive, sleek and modern. Good technique displayed. The net is steering him in the face. There it is and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, what I can see is the crowd looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, we've taken some really meaningful steps to improving how the crowd looks. Um, so what this means is kind of, you know, more crowd heads, more crowd body types, more crowd clothing items to really make that crowd feel natural and more varied in the game. Yeah, so the next piece I want to talk about is our camera refresh. Uh, so one of the key innovations we've seen in the sports broadcasting field over the last couple of years is the use of shallow depth of field cameras. So what we've done, and we look at our camera set and we've kind of upgraded and refreshed our cameras using these new cinematic lenses. On top of that, you know, we, we've tried to make moments feel special such as goal kicks and corners. So when you do get those, we have some really cool new cameras right on the pitch where we can show off your player as well as the atmosphere behind it and the crowd to really put that together and, and you know, make it a really unique moment in the game. Okay, we're on to my favorite part, the goals. What do you have for me, boys? Scoring a goal is something that we, we always want to, to feel special for the user. And I know the gameplay crew did show you a sneak peek with their power shot feature, where in some of the replays for power shot now, you'll notice that we use new camera angles and new augmented reality stats 
that actually show off really interesting information about the goal and really rewarding the user for, for scoring. So you might see XG, distance to goal, the speed of the shot even, and, and even the stats when scoring the goal. So it's, it's really just a way of, of making it look like a more dynamic, compelling moment when scoring. Well, you definitely will be seeing it on my socials because I am loud and I'm proud when I'm winning my FIFA games. Can't wait. In addition to the new replay content, we also wanted to look at what we can do to enhance the actual nets in FIFA. And what we wanted to do was actually convert that to th real 3D geometry. So the netting is actually now a real net and you'll notice that it reacts to light and more importantly, it animates more realistically. So when you do have a, a goal that kind of goes in and ripples the net, it just enhances that satisfaction of scoring. We also looked at what we can do with adding, uh, you know, additional audio effects and treatments to, to scoring a goal. So we wanted to add another layer of customization. So in modes like foot or pro clubs, or even the career mode, create team, you'll have the ability to insert special sound effects for after you score a goal. An early goal, it is the ideal opening. We think that you're going to really appreciate that level of customization and, and bringing their personality to the game. Oh, a goal! It's gone in! Wait a minute, is that a horse? The horse is the favorite, I think, right now. That's insane. And of course, every year we add a number of new celebrations to the game, and this year is no different. So you'll notice that we added a number of new celebrations for many of your favorite star players in FIFA 23. I'm definitely going to be using these after scoring a few bangers. This has been incredible. I can't wait to play FIFA 23. It's been a pleasure, guys. Absolutely, Shauna. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much. Can't wait for you to play the game. Cheers. Back to you, Derek. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. The world's game never looked so good. <laughs>